Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, Friday morning and my house is a tip. I've not even made it downstairs yet because I've just seen how much of a mess is upstairs. I have tidied the bedroom. It just needs a good dust and a hoover. But I put the clothes away. And then follow me, follow me. You'll see what I'm wearing today. I am not planning on going anywhere apart from picking Brendan up and I'm slogging it, okay? So please excuse the attire. <laughs> Look at that, with my slippers, I look slightly better without my slippers. These tra these shorts I picked up yesterday from the shop for slogging about in. And yeah, I don't think I'd go out in public in them. Um, This absolute pigsty, that is my son's bedroom or my son's is, is, is plural bedroom i did ask them to put their clothes away yesterday but sh me why should they do what i ask rant uh messy scruffy bathroom messy scruffy bathroom he's cleaning should you go and see the state downstairs i better bring these cups down with me hadn't i shall we go and see <clears throat> Right, cups, cups, cups. See, three here, that's just from their room. Oh, hold on. And another three, which in fairness was from our room. So, I can't really complain, can I? Right. Um, right, we've got dishes to put away. Let's open up the blinds, let some air in. I don't suppose the back door's been left open, has it? Because that would be too much. There's a random tortoise on the floor. Don't let toothless out. All the bins need emptying because they're all full. This room is full of bugs again. Oh, what are they doing to that poor bee? This is mean, look. These flies are attacking the bee. They want the pollen. I don't, hold on, I want to turn it round flies are trying to get the pollen off the poor bee's feet. <laughs> get off my face. Right, come on bee, I'm going to take you. Come with me. Come on. Don't sting me, please don't sting me. Come on. Oh, you're a huge bee as well. I'm really worried he's going to get annoyed and get stung. I'm going to get stung. Right, I'm going to have to get a stick. Bee rescue. Right, Bee, come on. You're a big bee. There's a very big bee. Very big bee. Right, let's go put you on the butt layer. now right let's tidy up i was on tidy up wasn't i so let's open this kitchen window oh my goodness where do i start do i start downstairs and then work my way upstairs downstairs i think is less messy maybe i should start downstairs you know what's coming cleaning montage in dodgy shorts Feel the most when I'm alone. I think of you cause when you're gone, I remember the feelings they're hidden in the dark. I never left my feelings shown. I feel the most when I'm alone. But now the rush is longing to be waking up. I belong in the future. Let your feelings show
my feelings back Mess, 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 mess. Mess. Everywhere. tidied so that's something but it's an incredibly hot day again so the hoovering I think is going to have to wait until a bit later um I'm going to sit down for half an hour well not even half an hour because I've got to go and get Brendan in a minute and then Lee's coming home early um I would like him to take me to Noodle Nation and have noodles for dinner but I don't think that's going to happen I think he probably wants to have a lazy day at home but we'll see I might drop the hint and see what happens maybe Time to go get my boy. It's that time already. Time to get my boy. Where are we going? Shababli. For? Food. Food. Yeah, nothing terribly exciting, but necessary. Needs to be done. What was that? Food Needs shopping. to be done. Does need to be done. I'll get a pack for the boys. Brioche, yeah. Do some, you do need some more maple syrup. That one looks a bit 
big. Can you look at that one? Yeah, try a couple of those. Yeah. Two, one, nine. Two. Two. Quite nice for uh, puddings for after. Not candy, but yeah. Puddings. We've got pineapple. Yeah, all pineapple ones, are they? Pineapple, or pi yeah, I've got two pineapples. Okay. Pineapple, pineapple. Pineapple or pineapple? Oh my goodness, I'm melting. It's so hot, especially coming out of Lidl's, which is nicely air conditioned and refrigerated. Oh, it's so, so hot. Apparently it is 28 degrees. Feels a lot hotter than that. Hello, hello, hello. Well, I did this already. I've done this whole talk to you already, but the shaking, my hands were shaking so much holding the camera. I just thought, you know what? I'm struggling to watch it. You guys don't want to have to watch it. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. Firstly, these lovely things that I've got on the door inside, I've bought two more to go up there. They've arrived today. Um, I'm hoping it will stop all these flies, these horrible flies from um, dying in my playroom because they keep coming in. I keep trying to get them out. I hoover them up. The next day there's dead flies everywhere. So it's driving me crazy, but I will cut them off at kind of that height so that the kids can come in and out. Hopefully it will stop the flies coming in at that level. We'll see. Um, but I need to go and get uh, a cane from my parents. I'm seeing them tomorrow. So like a garden cane uh, to thread them onto. And I bought the hooks today. So that's what I've done. And that's happening. It'd be very rainbowy in here. Um, I wanted to tell you about my sister's dogs. Now this, I don't know if any of you have ever had anything like this happen, but Thursday night, Thursday night they were in the park playing this new Harry Potter game thing and they had got the dogs with them. Thankfully, little Jasper was not with them. He was with my other sister. Um, and there were these two cats. In fact, Georgia or Heather took a photo of these cats because they were sat on the path, identical. We now know them to be the Cray twins. So literally they were there, these two cats, black with white fronts. And the reason they took the photo was because they were thinking how odd these two cats, identical cats, sat together. So um, they decided to walk past them. Didn't think anything of it. And uh, the cats stood their ground, which, you know, cats either and kind of back off or they just run or they just sit there and let you go past. Well, these let them go past and then literally circled around and jumped on Tico, the little Jackawawa, who um, was on his lead. So literally on his head, both of them, one either side. Georgia said it was like a like a pack mentality, like tigers. Like they knew what they were going to do and they were going to do it together. So she hooked him up because he was on the lead. Um, one cat had already fallen off. The other cat fell off as she lifted him. And she held him under her arm thinking, OK, he's OK. But they then landed on the floor, took one look at Jay and decided to go for her. Now, Jay is a staffy. If she wanted to, she could kill them. Staffies have strong jaws. They lock them when they bite and then they shake. And she has so much strength. When you play raggy things with her, she hurts your shoulders. Um, but she's such a gentle soul that she just did <laughs> what she does. And she tried to get away from them. She wouldn't bite them. She didn't have a go at them. Put her head down. She's so passive um, and just kept trying to get away from them. But they kept coming at her, kept jumping on her. Heather was kicking them to try and get them off. And she came home with blood coming out of her ears, cuts all over her body. Um, so they ended up, and then they looked at Tico and realised his eye was filling with blood. So they came straight home, straight to the local vets. And um, thankfully the vet said, um, Tico's been very lucky and they had a checkup today and green dye and everything put in and they agree again, it's fine. He is on antibiotics, but they've cut the top and the bottom eyelid with their claws. But they said they don't think there was any bites. It was all claws. Um, and poor old Jay had cuts in her ear and various other cuts. Most of it seemed to be coming from her ear. But again, it, none of it they didn't think was bites. It was all scratches. But cat scratches are pretty nasty. They can get quite infected. But they didn't feel she needed antibiotics. So Tico's on antibiotics. Jay isn't. They just need to keep an eye on them. George said yesterday they were really subdued. But okay, but just really subdued. Um, and they're on Metacam for the pain. 
Um, and you know, this is Tico's eye is very bruised now and it's got the, the cuts. But I've just never, I mean, has anyone, have any of you ever known cats to do that? I mean, I know they can be nasty and I don't think they were feral. But um, yeah, just, I've never, I, I mean, I don't know, you couldn't make it up. You really couldn't make it up. I've never seen cats do that. Never. I've seen them hiss at dogs. I've never seen them do that. Anyway, I'm trying to decide if I should finish the vlog now because I haven't really got much more to tell you. Um, Kenzie's gone to his friend Oscar's. Brendan's doing his own thing. Lee's been off for the afternoon. He's doing his own thing. And tonight we're going to be watching the Netflix thing. Hmm. Attractive, isn't it? Uh, Stranger Things 3. So I, c I think I might finish it here because otherwise it's going to get really long. I think I might do that. So, yeah, Strange Things 3. That's what we're going to do this evening. Um, oh, and I've got Ruby's mum popping over for a cup of tea later. I'm in my PJs. <laughs> She's seen me in my PJs before, it's fine, but it was so hot I had to go and get in the bath. Nice cold bath. Right, I'll say goodbye now then and get this edited and uploaded. So I'll see you lovely lot tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>